Now in this section, we look at uh, the convergence of the Fourier series at a point of discontinuity. And we shall take an example of, uh, of uh, we shall take a case of the previous example and use it, but uh, we want to look at uh, the convergence. So what do we mean by the convergence of the Fourier series? Convergence of Fourier series at a point of discontinuity. At a point of discontinuity. That is what we want to look at here. Now, uh, normally when we have a function which is uh, has a discontinued points of discontinuities. The problem is that uh, when we want to deal with such function, and especially we want to do some operations like differentiation, when we get to the point where the function is not continuous, then the process fails. So the essence of uh, the Fourier series representation is to replace a function which has some dis point of has some points of discontinuity with a function which is continuous everywhere so you may have a function say a function that looks like this at at some point here which uh, which i can call x not the function fails to be continuous so that uh, you can uh, draw a continuous line between a point from point A all the way to point X naught, but at point X naught you have to lift up your pen. So basically, a discontinuity is simple as that. Between point X naught and B, the function is continuous again. But what happens at point X naught? Now, uh, we know that uh, when we have a function such as the cosine, such as the cosine function or a sine function, we get a kind of a wave. So it's not a straight line, it's a kind of a wave that starts from zero if it is a sine, or starts from one if it is a cosine function. So by representing a function, uh, in a Fourier series, which is a sum of several of many cosine and sine terms, we want to write our function as a wave. But we want to make this quantity so many, we add them, we add these waves, so many of them, until we get something close to a straight line, Some very, something very, very close to a straight line. Now, but uh, the idea here uh, is, uh, the, the, the whole idea is what happens when we, reach, we, we get near to the point. So we can use uh, very many terms here. We can add very many terms until when we have almost a straight line here and almost a straight line here. But what happens at the point when you're near here because this function has to be continuous everywhere. Now, this function normally will deviate. It will normally deviate from the actual line. The series will actually deviate. When it reach, you start with a function here which oscillates like this, but near the point of discontinuity, it normally deviates and now oscillates around this line. The idea is that uh, we are getting, we get a function which is continuous. So if we want to carry out any operation around the point of discontinuity, we can carry out on the series, uh, but it may have failed in the original function. But now we represent, uh, we use a representation which is continuous everywhere. So that's the whole idea about uh, the Fourier series representation is just to replace a function which has discontinuities 
with another function which is uh, continuous everywhere. Now, we can add so many terms, as I have said, until we get a line here which is almost a straight line, but something happens near the point of discontinuity. This, 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 this series that we are getting must deviate from the original line here, must deviate from this, this uh, the first line here from A to B. It deviates, and uh, at the point of discontinuity, the curve will cut this line. We'll, at X naught, uh, the value here, the value that we get here, I will call it C, that value is basically the midpoint between these two points, this point and uh, this other point. So the value of the series, I can call this one K1 and K2. The series will assume at point X naught, the series will assume a value C, which, which is equals to K1 plus K2 divided by two. Basically we say that the Fourier series converges to the mean. We say that uh, the Fourier series converges to the mean of those two values, K1 and K2. So we have said that uh, the essence of the Fourier series representation is to replace a function which has discontinuities. Uh, this function needs to be periodic. A periodic function with uh, some discontinuities. We replace with another periodic function which is continuous everywhere. Now, as you have said, near the point of discontinuity, such as the point X naught here, the Fourier series representation deviates significantly from the original function because now this series must attain the new value as uh, you move to the next uh, section, like from X naught to, to B. Uh, at that point, at the point of discontinuity, the Fourier series representation satisfies the condition, satisfies a certain condition uh, that the limit, the limit as X approaches uh, X naught from below of F of X must be equal to the limit as x approaches x naught from above of uh, uh, sorry, of f of x f of x so we are saying that uh, when we have a point of discontinuity like uh, let me revisit the function i had before you have a point x naught here and you have discontinued. When you are moving from this side coming in this direction, this is the limit as x approaches x naught from above of f of x. You are coming from, from above. Then you can approach x naught from this side. You get the limit as x approaches x naught from below of f of x. These limits must be the same. Notice that uh, if you approach x naught from below, you are moving along this line, and you will get to this point, which we are calling k2. If you are moving from above, you are following this line, and you will get this point, which we are calling k1. So in this case, k1 is not equal to k2, and therefore the function is not continuous at point x naught. But for a Fourier series, this limit must be the same. So it means that uh, you move along this line, and then it deviates, then it oscillates along this point. Now, the idea here, when you move along the, uh, when you move, uh, when you follow the series, you'll be moving from this side, and you, you, you approach, you get to this point here. When you move from this side, you move along this line, and you get to the same point. 
This point is what we are calling the point C, and it's basically the mean of K1 and K2. It's the mean of K1 and uh, K2. So, uh, this is uh, basically, we say that uh, the Fourier series, uh, at the point of discontinuity, at the point of discontinuity, the Fourier series converges to the mean. converges to the mean. That is the value of the series. The value f of x of the series will basically be a half of uh, the limit as x approaches x naught from below of the original function plus the limit as x approaches x naught from above of the original function you get the mean of these two. And uh, we can take uh, an example. Uh, I want to consider a function, for example, j uh, Uh, consider the function consider the function I want to consider a simple function here f of x but let me consider the function that we have done previously so that we know the series that we did uh, in the previous section f of x is equals to x in the interval between minus pi less than x less than zero then two minus x in the interval between zero less than x less than pi this is zero and f of x plus two pi so the function is periodic with period two pi now, for this function, this function has a discontinuity at the point x is equal to 0. You see, this function is defined The function has a discontinuity at x is equals to 0. You see, this function is defined in such a way that uh, f of x is equals to x in the interval between 0, sorry, not to 0, but from minus pi to 0. So you, you can consider tabulating and you'll have uh, x and f of x. You start from minus pi, maybe minus pi all over 2 up to 0. This will be the value of f of x is equal to x. So this will be minus pi, minus pi over 2, and 0. So this will be, this is how the function behaves in that section. Then f of x is equal to 2 minus pi in the interval between 0 and pi. So you can try to tabulate, and uh, simply we have x and f of x. You have uh, when x is 0, maybe you can go to pi all over 2 and up to pi. When x is, uh, something is not correct here. This one is not pi, that one should be x. 
So when x is 0, you'll have 2 minus 0, which is 2. When x is pi, you'll have 2 minus, when x is pi over 2, you have 2 minus pi over 2, then 2 minus pi, you can easily put those in black, in a decimal, but I will, will just leave them like that. Now, you see that uh, there is a, if you find the limit as x approaches 0 from below, from values that are less than 0 of f of x, if you consider values that are less than zero, you are here. Because in this in this case you have you have uh, you have something like this minus pi minus pi all over two zero is here. So you are approaching zero from this side, from the left hand side. If you are approaching zero from this side then you'll get to this value here, 0. So the limit of f of x, as you approach 0 from below, you get uh, 0. But if you approach, uh, if x approaches 0 from above, from values that are greater than 0, for example, you start from pi, from pi here, and you move towards 0 here, then the value of the function becomes 2. So f of x becomes 2. In this case, you are approaching 0 from values that are greater than 0. So we call that the right hand limit. You are approaching 0 from the right, from the right hand side. So now you see that uh, the limit as x approaches 0 from below of f of x is not equal to the limit as x approaches 0 from above because one has a value 0, the other one has a value 2. But now the Fourier series uh, representation must be continuous. So in this case, the left hand limit and the right hand limit must be equal. So, and uh, the value, the value would be the mean of the two. So in this case, for the Fourier series, for the Fourier series representation, the value at zero will be the mean of these two quantities here. Half of zero plus two, which is one. So the Fourier series representation should assume a value of 1 at 0, the mean of these two, 0 and 2, 0 plus 2, which is 1. So in this case, we had uh, obtained the Fourier series representation for this one previously. And uh, if you go back to our series, you see our series here. So what we need to do is that uh, at the point when x is 0, at the point when x is 0, that is the point of discontinuity, f of x on this side, the f of x here, uh, this f of x here, will be, will be equals to 1. Then we can substitute here knight 2 minus pi or for 2. Then we have 4 for pi, then the summation. But now this one will be cosine of 0, which is 1. Then we have the other summation. And uh, this one will be sine of 0. But sine of 0 is 0. So this term, the last term will vanish. The last term here, this term will vanish because sine of 0 is 0. So this term will not be there, but the cosine, the cosine term, we shall, when we substitute cosine of zero, we shall get one. So we will be left with this quantity here, times one, and then this one. This one will just vanish. 
So let's let's do that and see. Let's do that and see what we get. So in our case, we shall now write f of 0 is 1. So the Fourier series, let me write it here, was 2 minus pi divided by 2, then plus 4 all for pi, the sum n is equal to 1 to infinity. Then we have 1 all for 2 n minus 1 squared cosine of 2n minus 1x plus the sum uh, we have we have uh, uh, let me confirm the other term the other term is uh, 4 all over pi again So I have 4 alpha pi, the sum from n is 1 to infinity, then I have 1 alpha 2n minus 1, sine of 2n minus 1 x. So when x is 0, when x is 0, that's the point of discontinuity. The left hand side will become 1. Remember the Fourier series converges to 1. Then I have here 2 minus, uh, this is this, this will be 2 minus pi all over 2. So this will be 2 minus pi divided by 2 plus 4 all over pi. The sum n is equal to 1 to infinity. 1 all over 2n minus 1 squared. And uh, the other one is, of course, 0. The last term is 0 because sine of cosine of 0 is 1, but sine of 0 is 0. So the last summation will be 0. So now I will now simplify this. So I'll have 1 on this side, which is equal to. 2 all over 2 minus pi all over 2 plus 4 all over pi and the sum from n is 1 to infinity 1 over 2 n minus 1 squared so 2 over 2 is 1 so I bring all the terms to the other side so I have 1 minus 1 plus pi all over 2 being equals to 4 all for pi, the sum from n is 1 to infinity, 1 over 2n minus 1 squared. So 1 minus 1 is 0. So I can have on this side pi all for 2 is equal to 4 all for pi. The sum n is 1 to infinity. 1 all over 2n minus 1 squared. Now, if I multiply both sides by pi divided by 4, if I multiply both sides by pi divided by 4, I'll get pi squared all over 8 on this side, which will be equal to the sum n is 1 to infinity, 1 over 2n minus 1 squared. This is a series that can be used to find the value of uh, pi squared over 8, or even to find the value of pi. So in this case, I have pi squared over 8 will be equals to... Now, I can write the first few terms here. I can consider the case when n is 1. When n is 1, 2n, 2 times n will be 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So the first term will be 1. If I consider the case when n is 2, n is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 3. So I get 1 over 3 squared. 
when n is 3, we get 2n minus 1 is 5, so I get 1 over 5 squared. Then I can continue like that, I'll get 1 over 7 squared, plus 1 over 9 squared, and so on. So that, so that we have the sum of, uh, we have an infinite series here, whose sum, the sum of this series is basically equals to pi squared alpha 8. The sum of this series will basically be equals to pi squared over 8. Now, uh, I want you to try out this other one. Uh, this one is an exercise. First uh, one you obtain the Fourier series representation for the function. Uh, the function is uh, f of x is equals to x in the interval between 0 and pi and the function is 0 in the interval between pi and 2 pi and the period is 2 pi so once you get that uh, then by expanding the series by expanding the series at uh, at x is equals to pi the, the discontinuity here is at pi the the point here the discontinuity is at pi because we see pi here, pi here. That's why we have the point of discontinuity. Uh, so by expanding uh, the series at the point of discontinuity, which is x is equal to pi, show uh, that pi squared alpha 8 is equals to the sum from n is 1 to infinity 1 over 2n minus 1 squared of course this is what we have shown in the other example but you can show it with the even with a different series doesn't have we don't have to use only the the other one so you can do this one now when you when you write uh, the Fourier series, of course, here, when you write the Fourier series, f of x is equal to a half a naught plus the sum n is equal to 1 to infinity a n uh, cosine cosine of n pi x alpha l plus b n sine of n pi x over l when you write this remember here uh, you can see that the period is 2 pi the period is 2 pi here the period is 2 pi so uh, the period t is equals to 2 pi which implies that uh, l which is equals to t divided by 2 will be equals to pi. And so where we have n pi x alpha l, we shall just have n pi, sorry, n x. And also when we write uh, a naught, which is equals to 1 over l, integral from minus l to l, f of x dx. Uh, of course, l is pi. But now, how do we integrate? If you look at the function, uh, the function by definition here starts from 0 all the way to 2 pi. That's one period. So we shall not in start integrating from minus pi because we don't have minus pi here. We don't have minus pi here. The lower limit can only be 0. 
and so we go to 0 to pi then from pi to 2 pi that that will be one periodic interval so don't don't uh, put the limits blindly you need to see although we write by definition like this well, when we come to substituting we shall write one of l one of a pi in this case but now we shall start from 0 to 2 pi because that's where we have the function defined and then we see that uh, we have we have we separate this into two intervals 0 to pi where the function is x then we have the interval from pi the interval from pi to 2 pi and this interval the function is 0 so that the integral here this term we don't need it we only need the first one and we shall write uh, 1 over pi then uh, 1 over 2 pi x squared <laughs> from 0 to pi and this gives us 1 over 2 pi then you have pi square which is basically pi divided by 2 this is the value of a naught this is the value of a naught is pi divided by 2 we can find a n find a n find a n and b n now if you work out this you should get uh, a n make sure you get this one i don't want to work out all of it but you should get minus 2 all over 2 n minus 1 squared times pi and bn should give you a value of minus 1 over n uh, minus 1 raised to power n i want you to work out this and ensure that you can get them if, if you if you ensure that you can work out those two quantities it's important that you'll be able to work out some of these things then check the value of the function uh, check the behavior of the function at uh, the point of discontinuity where is the point of discontinuity we have said the point of discontinuity is uh, pi because we can see we have pi pi and the function is different if you are approaching pi from this from the side of 2 pi that is, you start from pi, you are coming this way. You start from pi to pi, you are coming towards pi. The value of the function is zero. But if you are up in this interval, approaching from zero to pi in this direction, the value of the function is defined by x. So by the time you get to pi, the value of the function will be pi, of course. So you will get uh, that uh, you will get that uh, the limit here you will get you should be able to see that uh, the limit as x approaches pi from below of f of x uh, will be equal to the limit as x approaches pi uh, of x because in that interval between 0 and pi uh, the function is equal to x and this will be equal to pi but if you are approaching pi from below from from above sorry values that are greater than pi in the interval where x is greater than pi f of x is 0 so it's basically like uh, writing, sorry. It's basically like saying the limit as x approaches pi of 0. And in this case, you get 0. So that at the point of discontinuity, at the point of discontinuity, the value of uh, 
f of x, f of pi here will be 0 plus pi divided by 2, which is basically pi divided by 2. So uh, the Fourier series will converge to a value of pi over 2. The Fourier series will converge to a value of pi over 2. And now this is the value that you substitute. Once you have your series, you should be able to substitute that. This was supposed to be an exercise, uh, <coughs> but I've done almost everything. But I, because it is still an exercise, make sure you, you can complete and show that uh, the, 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 the series will converge to this one. So make sure you can do that. I think uh, for that one I'll stop at that so that you can complete that one. Uh, then we shall look at, uh, we shall go to the next section. Make sure you work out that in case of any problem you can consult.